Hey there, this is Donna at Pequest Valley Art, and you're watching Paint This. Project, we're going to do two stemless wine glasses that I got at Dollar Tree. We're going to paint some magenta roses on them. Our materials today, I'm using Folk Art Multi-Surface Paints in magenta, citrus green, thicket, and titanium white. And the paint brushes I'll be using are glass painting brushes uh, by Plaid. This is a three quarter inch flat brush, a number 12 inch flat brush, and a number two long brush. I also have, just in case, a little micro uh, detail brush. It's used for nail painting, but I use it for small details. And that's it. You'll need a, uh, a towel or a paper towel to wipe your brushes off and some water, of course. All right, so let's get started. I forgot to mention, you'll also need, before you start, some uh, rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball or a, a tissue or something to clean the surface of your glass off with. I washed mine with Dawn detergent and I covered it with alcohol to get all the oils and any residue off so the paint holds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three-quarter inch flat brush and I am going to double load some titanium white and magenta. I'm going to put more magenta than titanium white. So you take a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other, and you just keep loading it. You want to use a lot of paint, especially on glass, because you're more or less laying the paint. All right, let's see how that does. All right, so I'm going to hold the glass by the inside. I never go all the way up to the rim. I'm going to go about an inch and a half lower. I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to do our shell stroke. The white is going to be on the outside. And the magenta is on the inside. Again, picking up more paint. Other. I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit, but I'm going to do a couple of rosebuds. Mm, you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to flip it around and do another rose on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, just double loading again, some more paint. Picking up even more paint. And then we have our two roses. In between there, I'm going to do a rosebud or two on each side. So if you see my other videos, you've seen me do this before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut slant it upward. So I'm going to do an upside down U with the white paint on the top and pick up some more paint. And I'm going to do, I'm going to try to make a cup right here. So I'm going to make a U in that direction. Now I'm going to do one on the other side. Maybe this one I'll aim going downward. Need some more white. I'm gonna restroke that. And then going the other way. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'll do the next the next layer. I'm gonna do a second glass, so I'll speed this up. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I just did.
Okay. So now I'm going to do the inside cup of the big rose. All right, and I want my rose to face, I don't know, maybe upward to the right. So I'm going to do just what I did for the rose buds. I'm going to do an upside down U. And you're holding your brush like perpendicular to the glass. And you're using like the tip of the brush, the edge of the brush. You don't want to push super hard because you don't want to pull the paint underneath off. Oops, it looks like I got some paint on here from the other glass. Okay, now I'm going to do the, the rosebud, uh, not the rosebud, the center of the rose on the other side. Okay. Now I'll take the other glass and do the same thing. These come out so beautiful. I've given these as gifts. I've um, offered them as gifts for tricky trays. And they're well received. All right, so that's our centers. Now let us finish the roses. So I'm taking the brush again. I'm going to pull down, out, and then cut around toward the middle. I don't press hard, very gentle. Again, and then I just use the, the white edge of the brush to complete that little, it's like a C stroke almost. Okay. Now I'm just going to make little strokes just using the edge of the brush once again, little C strokes. Just like that, and there you have your rose. Now I'll do the other side. I think I'm gonna do it a little differently on this side. What I'm gonna do first is the outside layer of the rose, like that. Oh, I hope I was on camera for that. If not, I'll do it again. And then on the bottom. And now I'll surround the cup. There we go. Now to do the other glass. Same thing. I think it was easier to do it the second way. So again, I'm going to do the outside layer. Or, yeah. And one more here. Just turning the brush slowly. And then I'll do picking up more white. And our last rose. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush off. Dry it on a on a uh, my towel. What I'm going to do is make a stem that goes around the glass attaching 
um, the roses and the rose buds. So I'm going to dip into, take my two inch long brush and some thicket. I'm going to wet my brush just a little bit. You don't want to use too much water because it'll be too transparent on the glass. And then just touch on the end a little bit of the citrus green. And I'm just going to make stems and I'm not going to have them going perfectly straight. In fact, I'm going to go from this stem to there. And maybe on the next stem, I'll go There we go. And then you have like, I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. A nice little stem that goes around the entire glass and, and um, pulls your design together. So again, from this, I'll go from the rose, bottom of the rosebud into the big rose. And then from that stem, I'll kind of make a swoop and go up into the big rose. Okay. And this one, maybe I'll go from the top and go down. And then from that stem, pick up some more paint. From that stem, I'll go down and around. There, and we're all connected. Now I'm going to take my uh, number 12 flat brush. And I'm going to pick up Thicket. On one side and citrus green on the other. I think I'm going to add a little bit of white to the citrus green side to brighten it up. Holding my brush again perpendicular, I'm not touching the stem. I'm going to go sideways, push, lift, and pull to a point. And then you can pull a stem into the leaf. And there you have a leaf. And I'm just going to repeat repeat that process going around the glass. You can put the stems anywhere you like, whatever, whatever looks good to your eye. You need more paint. I keep my, um, the leaves, I keep them going pretty much in the same direction. Let's see. Now we'll do the other one. Again, just picking up some more paint, always picking up paint. These are really quick and easy to do. I would practice first on some paper, some cardstock, or, oops, I need a little bit more paint on that one. Once you get the hang of these little leaves, they are so easy to do. Okay. So let's add a little more too. Okay, and if you want to do a second coat, just wait for the first coat to dry. Otherwise, you'll pull the paint up on these. Now I'm going to take my little dotting tool. You can use the back end of your paintbrush to dot with and I'm going to do the centers of the roses and I'm going to take some citrus green and I'm just going to put little dots right in the center of the rose 
and in the rosebuds as well. And then I just do them randomly. glass. Same thing right in the center of the rosebud and the roses. I'm going to rinse off my dotting tool. Now I'm going to take some white and add a little of that inside also of the rosebuds, the centers. Okay, you don't wanna cover up all the green that's there, you just want like a little combination of each. Okay, and there's that. Finish with the other. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go back to my number five flat brush and I'm going to again double load citrus green and thick it and a little white on the citrus green side and I'm going to do the bottoms of our roses. So you're just going to do that same leaf stroke that we did on these. If a little of that pink shows through, that looks really pretty. Let it be, let it be. All right, more paint. Then I'll do the other rosebud. Do that a little darker. Okay, I'm just washing my brush off, I'm laying it on my towel. I'm going to put a paper towel down so you can see the completed project better. Okay. All right. So our glasses look like this. Aren't they pretty? If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like so I can grow my little channel. And if you feel so inclined, please subscribe and watch my other videos. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Bye.